I know again, no, man, we really turn this dial for all of the box moments. But it's like, real. Like this is world. like. everyone welcome back to auto box where anything is possible as long as you think out of the box and i just Woo! made that up <laughs> today today you guys it's my birthday episode so that is yes. why i'm starting it here and you guys it's very special today because it's actually my birthday as we're filming this so it'll probably be i don't know when it's gonna be uploaded but it is being filmed on my actual birthday <laughs> hopefully tomorrow if i can stay awake to edit oh you heard it here <laughs> first folks so before we start our discussion how are you guys doing Elvira how are you uh exhausted hence why you two look fabulous and I look like I rolled out of you know a work pit so <laughs> <laughs> I worked a double today I'm sweating you know we love premenopausal hot flashes um but I'm doing good I'm just I'm sad that you guys look so fabulous and I'm over here like mm. mm -mm -mm. I'm fabulous on the inside <laughs> <laughs> That's it's, all a it's a chop it's a chop just kidding. I know. I'm like, oh, I have to leave the stage. How about you, Chloe? How are you? I am doing great. Thank you for asking. Happy birthday, Fabulous. Johnny. I had a nice birthday. No, <laughs> yeah, no I'm no, sorry. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I've been doing good. There is a link for if anybody wants to buy Johnny something, I'll add a link to their uh, Amazon wish list. Oh, my God. You're so Ooh, Have you opened Thank any of your you. presents yet? Oh. I have. I was gonna mention this after we filmed the episode, but thank you so much. You sent me Paris. Oh my goodness! When I, <laughs> when I saw that, I was like gooped, gooped and gagged because I've been so wondering. Like, oh. I was like, I was like, I wonder if they already got it and just left it on their wish list, but they're gonna get two. <laughs> yeah, because I I was gonna open them on my actual birthday. Oh, <laughs> so okay. I, I, wait, I waited, so I had the stuff here because when you told asked me on the whatnot, you were like, "Did you get a box?" And I'm like yeah but i haven't opened anything yet so i'm always I... just so paranoid that when i like <laughs> send people presents i'm like what if like the amazon person didn't put it in the right spot or they didn't expect they were getting a package something got stolen it got damaged like so i always like, I'm like did you actually get something make sure okay if not i'll put a complaint in <laughs> also she looks really good i've seen like some horror stories where people get like the paris where like the eyebrows are like this mm -hmm. or like they're like really mm -hmm. bad or, like the eyes are wonky Perfect. She looks so good. So oh, I wonder I, if you got the because there's the I think thoughts. two variations, right? I think one has like the mm -hmm. like darker brow, lighter brow. I wonder which one you got. Maybe you got the better <laughs> one. I think so. She looks really good. She looks to me, <laughs> she looks really good. But I, like I said, I have seen horror stories where like people have gone just really bad ones and had to return them. So I got the box on it and I was like slowly opening. I was like, please be good, please be good, please be good. And it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get so paranoid, but I've been getting really lucky with Amazon uh, purchases. They've all been good. I haven't had to return a single one. But um, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> on to the discussion of today's episode. I kind of wanted to venture into like some dolls that have to do with horror because I love horror. So I think that's going to be our first topic discussion. Uh, as a fan of Chucky, I think that's where I naturally want to start in. And if you guys have any other thoughts, uh, chime in. But, you know, when I was growing up, I was ter ter terrified of Chucky. Like, literally, if I saw his face, I would start crying. Immediately running out of the room, I was terrified. <laughs> but I think it, it wasn't until, like, middle school, high school, like, the first year of high school, I'm like, I was like, wait, I'm not afraid of this. And I started watching, like, the first Chucky movie. Then after that, it just started to, like, I watched every single movie and then I'm like, I'm not scared of this. This is actually really good. And it's very camp. You guys love the Chucky movies. They're camp. Except for the Child's Play reboot thing. We don't talk about that one. I love it. But not good. Not good. I agree. I was like, wait, what is Alexa doing with Chucky? I don't understand. Yeah. It was very, very bizarre. But I totally agree with you. Like, I think Chucky is so to me yes it's in the horror movie genre it's a scary movie but it is so camp and he's just got like this personality where you're like okay he's a he's a killer uh he's a doll <laughs> like he's living his best life <laughs> I just don't see him as like this malicious scary like I don't know how to describe it like spooky scary character lurking in the darks it's like it's a doll like it's it, it, you just laugh like i feel like i just laugh when i see chucky but in and a good he, way because i think it's and he is such a he's a he's a icon because <laughs> he has a very <laughs> non-binary children so very he's an ally he's an yeah, ally. so progressive these 
Yes, he does like, not what, discriminate. He surely does not. Because I remember like in the TV series, he asked, um, I forgot the character's name, but he was all like, I'm not a monster. I love my child. I remember that. See, like that to me, A, kudos to the writing, but also just, I don't know, I feel like the horror, like scary movie genre has been very like accepting not to take this away from the dolls but like i watch a lot of them and i'm like sitting back going you know what out of a lot of like movie genres they're very very open-minded in the horror movie Mm -hmm. genre and yeah i think chucky's just like you know he's still a dad at the end of the day you know (laughs) might have had a couple of hiccups here and there but he's still (laughs) he always comes back he he's not a quitter he always gets right back up (laughs) that's motivating that's what motivates me every single day I'm like, yeah, I'm not shredded. I, <laughs> I was like you, Johnny. I was scared of Chucky growing up. I remember watching the first ever one when I was probably like four or five years old. I was really, really young. And I remember I was really, really terrified. But then somewhere around like age six or seven, I kind of got over it and I just started watching all of them. It and I got into mm-hmm. <laughs> I got into like horror movies really, really young age. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, this isn't as bad. I was more terrified of like the like paranormal things. That's what would get mm-hmm. me all the time. That would that would make me cry. But like the like ghost face. That would make me Chucky. cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ghost face and like Chucky and like, you know, all that. Not so much. But yeah. Chucky's an icon. And speaking of Chucky, season three, oh, part yes. two comes on the tenth. Comes out in April tenth. Uh, yeah, March. Is it March? April. Are you sure? Yeah, because I remember saying, "Oh, it's on my in my brother's birth month." Oh, okay, I thought it was March. I thought it was gonna be sooner, but I'm here for it. <laughs> Let us know down below. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let us know the real date. The real date. I know. Show is. <laughs> Which that show is also camp. I love the show. Have you kept up with the show, Elvira, or do you watch? No, I have not. I know I've only seen like bits and pieces here, or there. I'm like, I need to sit down and actually like watch all of it because I know Jennifer Tilly's on the show, and I'm a huge love. fan of Jennifer Tilly. I think she's talk about icon. Oh, amazing, love her. Obviously, Bride of Chucky is probably my favorite movie out of the whole Chucky lineup. Uh, and so I really want to get into watching the show more just because she's on it because she's like my favorite. I always when I was younger, I used to just say like that's my wife, you know. And people would always laugh. And I'm like, you never know. I know. I love Je- ever, ever since I was like little. Like I love Jennifer Tilly, and then like it just it got even bigger whenever like I started watching Chucky, and then I would watch her poker tournaments, knowing nothing about poker, but just I watch her the poker her. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I love that. Mm-hmm. Yes, very multi talented. You know, she's yeah, married she was, to a doll. She was Celia in Monsters <laughs> Inc. She's Bonnie in Family Guy. Oh my gosh, you're right. I forgot she does all those voices too. Me just knowing she's everything about Jennifer Tilly. <laughs> voice. Uh, she's got one of the voice. voice. She's got one of those voices that it's very like it's hard to miss. Like you know, mm-hmm. it's hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, like I guess like speaking of Chucky, uh, he has brought in a lot of dolls. So we have the we have the collector. We have I have this one here, oh. living the doll. So I have these. <laughs> these are one of my favorite dolls. They have the um, what is the? There's a website, uh, Halloween something Halloween, and they have like the giant the giant Chucky doll, the uh, like the movie accurate one. I have that one too. He's back there. Did not bring him out on camera because like, what if he moves or something? What if he tries to kill me? <laughs> but yeah, I do love iconic. Um, we go viral. <laughs> bring the doll out. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'll post it on TikTok, please. You have my permission. But I do love the Living Dead dolls. Are so cool. I remember getting those at Spencer's. Like whenever they first came out, and I saw them, like I had to get those. They're so good. And the skull. I don't have this collector. Do you have this collector, Lyra? I don't remember yes. if you have them. Yes. Yeah, so I have we'll it. We'll be stealing those from you. Okay. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I, I do have them dog. for some reason. I guess yeah. not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now you don't know. No, no, I have them. I thought you had them. No, I don't. I missed out. Oh, really? Oh, now I feel bad. Yeah, I, I, was, had two. I was. Uh, I was on the. <laughs> website. I don't think you did. I was going on the website to order them. Oh. I don't think you did miss out. I don't think you missed out. <laughs> You can definitely think, do, do it wasn't better. Like a, this wasn't like a something I wanted like really, 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 really. Oh, okay. But I was like, like they released and I was I was like contemplating about it. And I'm like, mm, you know what? They're still available. I'm going to get them. So I went through the whole process. And then right when I like click submit on my card, it just, it sold out. Oh. So I was, I was like, you know what? I'll just get them. It's like a nice little statement piece with my Chucky collection. But I just never, I didn't get them. Mm. It is what it is though. I should have, if I really <laughs> wanted them, you know, I would have gotten them. No, 
I mean, that's one thing with this collector dolls. Like you have to just be like, you better make that decision real quick and order it real fast. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's it's tough. It's There's tough. no hesitation. Not mm -hmm. with the Monster Heights collectors. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know it's either you want them or you don't want them. Which I'm glad they're doing the, especially with the Jennifer, where like they give you like two weeks, I think, to order the doll. So like, yeah, I want her so to, like, bad. So I, I want her there's still so time. Bad. <laughs> there's still time. So if you're thinking about, I know. It, you know. How much time is left on that? Do you know? I think A it week? goes into no? the 23rd of February. A week. I believe next week. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's a week left. Yeah, I, I know. I want her so bad. I, I, for, I'm gonna pass on her. Like she's really pretty, but I don't. Uh, I'm gonna pass. I'm don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still. Yeah, I'm still like I don't know yet. <laughs> Although did, I don't know if you guys heard, but it's just a rumor that they might turn the extra accessories into a fashion. Oh pack. yeah, did I you saw guys that. see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they do, if I miss out on her, like you know, if I miss out on her, if I can, am, am I a little little little. little if I'm able to get the fashion pack, I would be happy because all the accessories were really, really good. Which that so. is a, such a smart choice because mm -hmm. um, I like the second, the option for um, Jennifer's bag. I like the other yeah. one that did get picked. That one, I don't know why the other one, well, not to be shady or anything. I, I just like the other one better, which I think that's the general consensus that people like the other one better, which is weird. Like why did the other one win? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mattel was like, we'll let the people think they voted, but really <laughs> we're, we're just gonna give them <laughs> fashion packs. That's it's like in the bar movie. it's like in the Barbie movie when Weird Barbie pulls up the shoe and the other one, she's like, You have to make a choice. And she always goes back to like the other one. She's like, No, I was oh. pretending to give you a choice <laughs> so you can have some sense of like hope or something. Yeah, it was very much See, like you're putting film all accurate, film accurate to the company. See, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> i love that but um i think when it comes to other dolls in horror i think that one of the next ones that comes to mind for me is annabelle <laughs> i think okay i think annabelle was also another one that's like really camp have you seen those memes where like she's like holding the phone and she's like in a bikini <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have. Yeah, have you ever seen those? Oh my gosh, it is so funny. I love that meme. I used to use it all the time. I would be so annoying with that meme, but I love Annabelle. She's also a camp queen. I remember whenever she was in The Conjuring, and then they introduced her like the whole Annabelle verse, I guess. And then like, oh, there's memes of her like dating Chucky, and then Tiffany's like, oh, that's my man. So. <laughs> I've seen all like, of that. It's mm -hmm. so funny. It's like uh, fake, like Twitter posts of them <laughs> beefing. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. I didn't know that even existed. That there was like yeah, that like that's it's such yeah. a good laugh. You should look yeah. them up. She's They're really funny. It up. See, there's another. See, now that's funny. Okay, so there's a collector doll, obviously for Tiffany and Chucky. There's a collector doll for Annabelle. Annabelle. Where's the collector doll for like Megan? <laughs> Oh my it's god! That's coming. Literally, that's, it's probably oh god, coming. It's probably coming. There's um, I I show notes um at the doll green on Instagram. They posted they made a the custom Megan doll uh of a rainbow high doll. Uh, it looks oh really, I did really see that. Really good. I they used a it. they used a Cheryl as a base, and she looks oh, so good. Like I want one like that. I'm not as talented <laughs> enough to make one, but it's so good. That's another movie that's I, the like full like they're all camp. Yeah. Megan, is yeah. Better. When she's getting dragged in the yard by that dog, <laughs> and then she like pops up with her hair all messed up. Oh, me mm. waking up in the morning. I'm like, that's, that's just me on a regular day. <laughs> me waking up right after now. going out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're cosplaying as Megan today. I love it. You're in theme. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. And she's her singing Titanium. Oh, genius. <laughs> And the the marketing for that movie was so good, like yes. the Megan, the Megan's like walking and doing like the whole dance and everything, so good. Like I don't think a movie has done such genius marketing, uh, like as on top as Megan, because like oh, it's so good. So good. Is that the same um company who did the movie for what is that robot movie with like the weird like robot heads? What is that? There's a movie, a new movie that came out, and they're like robots but they look human because they were also doing something like that where like in like random stadiums and stuff people would be like just sitting there but they would look like robots and people were like what's that for and it was for that movie also is that yeah. the same company who made the movie smile because <gasps> they also did that well, they also would really like good and they're, yeah did is blumhouse? That the same? did blumhouse make megan i think they yes. made all three of those yes, didn't they? i think so I think, I think that company made all three of those movies. Because Blumhouse makes yeah. horror movies. They also made Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the marketing, lot. the marketing seemed pretty like spot on for all three of them. Where it was like the movie characters in real life, and that was the promotion mm-hmm. for them. And it, people were like, "Oh my god, that's so cool!" Especially for the smile one, because people were just smiling. Oh, creepy! And they, oh, and they would like, creepy. yeah, and they would do the camera like it would be like at stadiums or like shopping or like in Times Square and stuff. I think there was one for Good Morning America. Because you know how they have the background and it's like oh, actual people? Oh, I did see that. There was like a lady and they were just, like staring. Yeah, she was yes. just smiling. Yes. I love that. So smart. We need, mo- we need movies and TV shows I, to do that type of marketing I think, more. I think it is Blumhouse because they also did that with Friday Night at Freddy's. They like recreated the robots and everything. It had like the pizzeria yeah. for people to go see. And uh, speaking of iconic horror dolls, I do. I don't know if this one is considered a doll, but I do like the Saw puppet, Billy the Puppet. I think he's also an, a horror icon. I... I'm really big fan of the Saw movies. Uh, I like the the last one was really good. I I know like Nine or Spiral or Jigsaw, whatever those those were okay. I didn't really like them, but Saw Ten was so good. I was rooting for my girl Valentina. <laughs> I wanted her. <laughs> I wanted her to live so bad. She's kind of an icon, and uh, I don't know. The Billy Puppet is really cool. I just I love his design. There's a Living Dead doll of him. I don't have that one, which I regret still to this day because like he was on clearance and I didn't buy him for like 75% off. And I didn't oh get my it. Gosh. But yeah, he's really cool. I love his little laugh. It's so iconic. <laughs> but I that's oh. that's I don't know if it's considered I guess it's more of a puppet other than a doll. Well, but that's still, I would say like him. it's under the toy umbrella. Cause I mean, like obviously to in common day, puppets aren't really that big. But if you look back in history, kids played with puppets all the time. So I would consider that toy slash doll umbrella <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah no he is very iconic i mean can't believe there's 10 movies already of that like it's it's so crazy how they um, pump so many of these out i haven't seen the 10th one yet but i do hear that it was good though oh moon me yeah. spoiling it that someone <laughs> i know i was gonna say spoiler alert <laughs> spoiler, spoiler warning, warning. <laughs> it's okay yeah. you'll forget you'll forget her name <laughs> <laughs> i told johnny uh, that i hadn't seen it and he told me oh you should definitely watch it and i did and i was not disappointed mm-hmm. it was it was good. I like. I liked it better. I didn't get to see the whatever other one was. The spiral. You don't need to watch one. it. <laughs> yeah, I. I'm, I'm, I wasn't. <laughs> spiral. I think spiral is the ninth one, but yeah, yeah. That one yeah. wasn't good. Well, I'd still say Jigsaw is really cool though, and I would like to see that as like I could see that as a like Monster High. Oh, that's what I would that's like, what I yeah. bring up. There's like there's an art that like the of a billy uh was collector doll and it's so cool like it's like with a cage skirt but it's like a saw cage with like saws mm-hmm. and stuff oh it's so good oh i kind of oh i was gonna say something that i wanted to make a custom rainbow hide all of that but and i had some ideas on how to do it but i will not share it here <laughs> <laughs> i will keep those secret until i make it <laughs> well to touch back on chucky i think your rainbow high chucky custom doll is so good like why are you not mm-hmm. making more customs I, yeah. I am really proud of that doll i don't make custom dolls that often i think that's literally my first full full custom doll i know i have my mini but that one really did i just dyed hair <laughs> like, yeah. eyes. like that was one of the dolls that i was like really pumped about and i had a vision in my head and i made it come true which usually doesn't happen i think i can do something and i'm like nope never mind i can't do it but that <laughs> one like it came out really good so if you guys want to see more i have a video on my youtube channel of showing the doll so uh, I really liked it, and uh, the response I got from that doll was like really cool. That everyone actually really liked it. Yeah, yeah no, I thought it was she really cute. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to see more. Yeah, the shoes were took like a full on day to do. Oh my god, that was that was the most tedious part trying to do like the little lines on the shoes. Oh, but hey, you did not miss any details on that, and that just shows like I, I really, I mean, like you said, it's your first custom. It's the first one you really put a lot of time and effort to, and I feel like. I get discouraged a lot. I know a lot of other like doll collectors get discouraged about trying to do a custom. Uh, I mean, is there any recommendations that you have for people since that was like your first one, maybe somebody wanting to do it? Like, is there anything that you would recommend? I would say just do it. Just do it. Even if you are you're going to mess up because the the first thing I did was the dye the hair because I was like, if I don't get the hair right, then it's like, it's not Chucky, you know? So that's the first thing I did. And I was like, well, if I mess up, I just have to buy another doll. That could be another thing. But I just do it. Don't be afraid. Just go ahead and do it. And it's very, like, with the stitching and stuff, like, on the face of scarring, it's very forgiving. Like, you can, like, I messed up a couple of times. And I had to scrape the paint off with, like, a little toothpick and stuff. You couldn't even tell that I, I messed up on the face. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of uh, a lot of trial and error. But as long as you keep trying, 
I'm pretty sure you could accomplish it. <laughs> but if there's I, a will, there's a way. <laughs> there, there really yeah. is. I didn't do the outfit. <laughs> the outfit is punk couture. That's what. That's the only thing I didn't do. That shout out to Hong Couture. That makes me think of. Uh, we'll all three of us really love Drag Race a lot. And the last episode of Drag Race from last week, they got mm. to make custom dolls, which is mm. wild to me. Which the door is sugar and spice opened. Huh? <laughs> the door is sugar and spice opened. I know. I agree with that. I feel like they they would have just done such a great job on on that episode. Uh, side note: Were those like? the amazon bjd dolls that they were oh that's what i was gonna say like those so i where did they get those dolls yeah i'm pretty sure they're like the generic Generic, amazon one fourth scale (laughs) or one third scale (laughs) Mm. but i thought it was a really cool concept to bring dolls because i mean i feel like so many drag artists are doll collectors and you hear more mm-hmm. about it every single day. And so I'm just like, oh, that's so cool. that They were like trying to mesh the dog collecting world and the drag world together. So, yeah, I don't know. Just, you know, love that. that I thought it was yeah, great. I really, <laughs> I really like that challenge. Now, here's a question. If you could buy one of those dolls, which one would you choose? Oh, my gosh. Mm, hold on. I took screenshots of the one that I really <laughs> like. Um. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I loved the episode. I loved the theming. I loved everything about it. But honestly, I did not like any of the dolls. I didn't like the look. Mm-hmm. I I wasn't here for it. It wasn't giving me what I thought I was gonna get. But then I, again, I, I also what, I know what you mean. I think about like, oh well, maybe obviously some of them aren't like they don't create outfits, so I can see why it was a challenge. I mm-hmm. also. Some of them are not collectors, so I get the vibe. But me as a collector and someone who knows how to sew and someone who knows what they like, and when I think of dolls, I none of them were like, oh, my God, no. Mm-hmm. You didn't like plain Jane's outfit? Sorry, I'm looking at it right now. That's why I'm, like, uh, looking at it. Her, yeah, her outfit was cute on her. I don't think it translated yeah, as good on I, the doll. I think a lot of the outfits that they wore didn't really translate well to the doll because they used the same fabric. I think if you were to use the fabric on the doll, you would have to scale down the fabric because the, yeah. the fabric on uh, Safira was gorgeous. <laughs> and then, like, on the doll, it was just one big flower on the <laughs> on the whole dress. And it just... Yeah. If, it, if the pattern was smaller, I feel like it would it would look better. I the one like, that did the makeup the best... Like, give me a second. Her name left me all of a sudden. Dawn. I feel like Dawn really got yeah. the makeup on the doll. Oh, yeah. Like, it Love looked Buzz like Buzz Lightyear her. doll. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. I, I, think it, I think it was because Dawn does such a specific makeup style. It could easily translate onto anything because of, like, the big eyes and the lips and, like, the colors. So I, it's almost like with Trixie. I think you could take Trixie's makeup and put it on any face. And it, you're going to know whose makeup it is. And it's going to mm-hmm. look kind of the same. Whereas, like, if you're just painting normally, like, for your features and stuff, it's not always going to translate well on the doll, which is why I was, like, so disappointed because I was, like, this uh, this challenge could have been everything, but it didn't, like, for me personally, it wasn't. I can it, like, see there were some hidden misses, but yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I do, I do wish they looked more like drag queens. It kind of looked like little mannequins with mini outfits on. It didn't, yeah, didn't like, this was like... another one of ones I thought looked like her like it looked like her you know I, sorry i hope that picture's going oh, to yeah tsunamis looked really yeah. good where the but dress I, yeah. or the outfit matched the dolls but i do agree that it looked more mannequin like because and i think not to like i think you know you have to think a wide variety of people are watching this show that are not doll collectors so they didn't need to put in perfect stitching on the doll's outfit didn't need to do every stone perfectly because it was supposed to be like kind of like a resemblance with the doll mm-hmm. versus i know all the doll collectors were over here critiquing the doll outfits more than yeah. you know, their outfits but so i think for them trying to bring the doll and the drag worlds together in doing it in a kind of like balance way, i think they did a good job because i mean you can only yeah. do so much and a, a lot of the queens are not doll collectors like even if i was on there yeah i'm a doll collector but I would not the outfits would be hard to do for a doll for me yeah. or at least the customization side oh yeah I would definitely go home on this challenge <laughs> I know I was telling my sister was telling me because she just started like she caught up to drag race and she was like oh my god the doll episode she's like oh my god I know you would have ate it up I'm like I don't know if I would have ate it up but I mean I think I would have at least done well 
just yeah, I, I know how to really sew. Good. I think I'm like, it also. I'm like, oh, sweet. <laughs> the fact that you think you're going to make it to episode six. <laughs> no, I think. I'm also, like, I will go like, home first. <laughs> I think also it takes a lot of like different skills to do b- the challenge. Like, it's not just creating the clothes. You have to think of the concept. You have to know how to do makeup on other people, not just yourself. And like uh, other like wigs and all that, like you know. So yeah, I mean, they did good for what they had, you know, to accomplish. I just it wasn't for me. Yeah, it was okay. The element uh, was like branding, like they had to mm-hmm. see themselves as a doll. Like Geneva's doll that had nothing to do with Geneva. It was just blue blue outfit with a skirt. You know that it didn't yeah. scream Geneva to me. So yeah, I think the one of the like tsunamis was really good. I think that was that was one that was really branded well to her. I. Even though Plasmos was kind of a flop, if I could see that doll like out of a lineup, I knew that was her. Yes. Mm. That's what I was trying to do when I was watching some of them, where I was like, which doll like could I look at and kind of figure out who is who? I mean, I thought Q did a good job too. Yeah. Like, they had that giant armor looking outfit. And I thought mm-hmm. that was really interesting and and visually very, very pretty. But yeah, again, could have been more, of course. But also I think they were trying to just balance it like the average person watching drag race doesn't always collect also it's like for them they're like oh it's cute <laughs> yeah and that's where it kind of yeah. ended probably so. well i have a question for you guys if you guys had to make the doll you know if you guys had to do the challenge what would you do first would you make the doll's outfit first or yourself's outfit first mm-hmm. me personally i would make the doll's outfit first because like that would be more difficult to do so like if i can because they would be a thing where like oh i can make I can't make anything. I can't sew. But <laughs> in a in a world where I could sew, it's easier to make an outfit for a person than a doll. So like it would be such a tragedy if like I can make the outfit for me, but then like I don't know how to do this on a doll. So like let me do the doll first because then it's easier to replicate in a bigger scale. I, I could yeah. see that. Yeah. Cause if, if the doll's a little outfit doesn't look great, then you're like, oh, I'm it's not gonna look good on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I could see no, that. I, I could see I that would... doing the doll one. I would also do the doll first only because I think a lot of missed opportunities with the girls was that they did the outfit on themselves first and then they try to translate that into a doll form. And like Johnny said, the patterns, the textiles, they were not translating well on the dolls. But if you do the doll's outfit first, then you can pick the fabrics, pick the patterns, try and stay away from patterns. I would stay away from patterns when you're trying to make both unless you can like, shrink the outfit you know like unless yeah. that's a thing but i would stay away from patterns and anything that's like scale wise but yeah i would also start with the doll and then work myself like on me because then it would most likely look the same mm. thank you for watching mm-hmm. this episode of the pit stop no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah where trixie comes out she's hosting actually later <laughs> no, I'm uh, shout out to q for winning <laughs> oh yeah because she did what yeah because yeah, it was just win. so intricate yeah but also yeah. Safira drank the potion which was very much choices I oh she needed, i did not think she needed to drink the potion because Girl. it was clearly geneva and maya were miles below the other girls so it's kind of like that was her inner saboteur speaking on drinking yeah. the potion I agree. Yeah, I agree. That was wild. That was wild. I was like, oh, she's just giving giving that up already. Okay. <laughs> I didn't th- I didn't think she would. But speaking of potions, if I was playing Jane, I would have used the potion on Q so I could win. Just saying. Because Q would have been safe and then I would have won because she's probably got second. That's interesting. I think but and I even think if Lane... I didn't win, even if I didn't win, it would have gone to Dawn, but then I would have gone it under Q's skin and then she wouldn't do good because she would have been in her inner saboteur. No, but then I think Plain is using she's she's very strategic, strategic, whatever. She's she's very smart when it comes to to like playing the game, and I think she's gonna hold on to that potion until like she absolutely mm-hmm. needs to use it on herself. I think that's what's gonna happen. I think what's gonna happen in this season is Plain is gonna ultimately land in the bottom, and she's gonna use the potion to save herself, and that's gonna make her go all the way to the end. I that that's my prediction. That's I what I'm feeling. That. She's probably gonna use it like towards the end, like how Bosco was saved from the chalk with the chocolate bar. Yes, <laughs> that's what, exactly. That's the vibe, that's the vibe mm-hmm. it's giving me. Like it's nothing's gonna happen till like close to the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that because they're not giving out these potions left and right, right? We're not gonna get any more. Mm, I don't yeah. think so. Just it was two. just at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is funny that Safira said it tasted bad. <laughs> I want to know what <laughs> it tasted like. Girl, it was just water. I know, <laughs> just with water. food coloring. 
tap water. <laughs> Not even good water. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so <laughs> that that was our drag race segment, everyone. Hope you're enjoying that. We will do a weekly <laughs> recap of drag weekly, race. weekly recaps. But talking about new things, though, we wanted to try out something a little new and do our out of the box moment where every week, uh, all three of us will mention different things that happen throughout the week to us that isn't doll related because obviously we do all three love dolls. But as you can hear from this episode that we love drag race, we love spooky, scary movies, and we love a lot of other things, too. So we're kind of using this out of the box moment that we're going to add the segment every week to let you guys know more about us. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. so for our first out of the box <laughs> moment who wants to go first <laughs> i'll go first <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> the awkward pause um, i'll go first yeah so for my out of the box moment i didn't do much this week i did go out on like the weekend and stuff but the thing i wanted to talk about was as you guys know or if you didn't know i am trans so a huge part of my journey has been um you know, wanting to take hormones and all of that. And last year, I was actually able to begin that process. Um, I didn't get to update anyone, like, after probably, like, three months. And then somewhere around last year, actually, to the date, it was around Johnny's birthday, I had commented with you guys um, on a live, and I was saying that I wasn't in the best mental space so a huge like thing that happened was that I stopped taking the hormones and it wasn't like um it wasn't like a decision it was kind of like a depression you know state so if you've ever had depression you you know that it's very like up and down so I was kind of up and down with that and then um ultimately I was like but I'm not going to stop taking the hormones but a thing that I didn't plan on happening was that Someone was actually helping me um, receive the hormones and like they were helping me with the hormones and things like that. They ultimately decided to stop helping me with that situation. Oh. So um, even though I didn't want to stop, uh, I had to stop. But now that I've probably been off of them for like a couple of months, probably like six months, because I did finish the final dosage and then um, obviously I couldn't get any more. So I it stopped. So everything was kind of like reversing. So I was almost like detransitioning with like the hormone situation. Um, it made me realize that I really, really, really want hormones again. And I am going to do anything and everything in my power to try and get back on them. Uh, because everything that all that work that I put into like hormones and my changes it kind of undid itself again and I notice it and I hate it and I'm very self-conscious. I'm very self-conscious about it now. So yeah, that was just a little realization that I had, you know, um, for my mental state and well-being. I am going to be starting hormones, hopefully as soon as possible. Like, you know, I, I feel like I'm glad that you're opening up about this and talking about this because I feel like a lot of people in and out of the doll world deal with it too. I mean, a lot of us do, whether it's dealing with images of how we feel like with ourselves when we look in the mirror or other people who are transitioning and going through things like that of that nature. So I hope, you know, people hearing you see, say this is giving you them, you know, the relaxation of like, you know what, I'm not alone. I know, you know, I see somebody going through it in the doll community <laughs> with me and helping everybody out. But so I have to say, to say like, I think what you're saying yeah. and doing and expressing is really good and hopefully really helpful. But yeah, as, as a, I cannot imagine just stopping the hor- <laughs> your hormones and then going back. Like, I'm just sitting here thinking, going, wow, like, it's so wild being born with them and having all this wild ride. I can't imagine mm-hmm. being rushed with them and then having them taken. I feel like that could be almost even worse. Like, I can't imagine what you're going through. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm very, I'm, I'm sympathetic with you because of that, for yeah. sure. I, yeah, it's been, it's, it. Th- how do I say this? It's been, I'm not saying you need hormones, but for me, I, I want them. Yeah, now that yeah, I've had a, a taste of them. Yeah. yeah, now that I've had a taste of them, like I don't want to go back and to go back and be like where I am right now. I was like, oh my God. That's also why a big part of why I stopped like doing a lot of filming and stuff. And I only do little things here and there uh, because it has messed up the way 
I see myself now, you know what I mean? Like, you know, we all have like issues with things we don't like about ourselves. But for me, I feel like it's it's much more than just like, I don't like how I feel, you know, or look or it's a lot more. It's like if, even if I did like how I look, I, I think I still would feel the way I feel right now. And mm-hmm. so, yeah, it was just a little thought that I had this week when I don't know what I was doing. I think I was probably showering or something. And I was just, you know, in the shower, clearing my mind and. One of the thoughts was that I was like, man, I miss taking hormones. Like I miss how I looked six months ago because now I look how I used to look a year ago. And I don't like that. You know, I noticed little things here and there. Like I look at myself in the mirror and I notice little Mm -hmm. things here and there. Um, Anytime I film, anytime I take a picture, now I notice these little things and I'm just like, oh, I hate that about me, you know, like, oh, I wish I didn't pick these little things but I was like you know what I'm gonna try my best you know to get back on that train and keep moving forward you know that's all we can do (laughs) no my thighs I just wish that they was it was more readily available to people Mm. if they really wanted it to like I I think I don't know how hard it is to get them but I just feel like if someone wants them they should have them like I don't think we should (laughs) like they should be deprived of what they like everyone should feel comfortable like in in their selves so it's like yes. let them be who they want to be so it's just we're living on a rock floating in space <laughs> like let's, let's just vibe let's just be happy with ourselves so i just mm-hmm. i i, I totally agree with that where it would be just more readily available to anyone that would want that would want it it's not gonna be a perfect quote but i was reading this thing something that betty white said the great betty white and she's like you know everyone just needs to mind their own business to let people be themselves you know and just like mm-hmm. and she said one other line there as well but i i really agree with that i'm like what does it matter to everyone else what somebody else is doing as long as they're not yeah. harming I don't know if you're, like they're doing it of their <laughs> own free will and you want to like I said yeah. be your true self go for it and I know again man we really turn this dial for all of the box moment but it's like, real into, like, a whole this is world. like it like blows my mind I'm like there's so many things that people should be upset and irate about in the world nope let's 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 get upset about that and I'm like really they're like everyone's just trying to be themselves so I mean I really I don't know how it is in Texas I'm in Florida and it's just as bad (laughs) as probably Texas (laughs) maybe worse uh because I do know people that have had really like problems trying to get whether it's testosterone or hormone hormones here in Florida so I can't imagine how Texas is but I just hope it's your journey isn't (laughs) as bad as it is here (laughs) you said it you said it best it's a journey it's It's definitely a journey (laughs) um it's you know it also depends where you are like I don't want to get too into it because I've never talked about this but it also has a lot to do with uh you know a lot of my personal personal life so you know I know some people are going to say we'll just go out there and do it but you know there are some things I have to do before getting to that space uh, again and that's why I was getting help from the very beginning um from another person but um yeah no i'm not gonna you know i think it also made me realize you know this is something i definitely want it's something that i definitely want to do and i'm going to strive to achieve it at some point in my life again and you know yeah you know it's nice to have those little thoughts um every now and then where you finally realize you know the path you want to go to because i think for a lot of times people don't know what path they want to take and sometimes you go through a path and you think it it's the perfect path, but then it draws you right back to the beginning and you have to take yeah. that path again. So, you know, it's a part of life. We're all human. We all go through things, you know. Well, as we talk more about it, these out-of-the-box moments, uh, how about you, Jimmy? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Oh, my God. I feel like mine is going to be so silly and unserious because I'm like, you guys we are like- need the, the unserious, though. I'm like, you guys are on the verge of tears for yours. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay but for mine what something that happened um this week i guess it's this past week for me is uh, i really love video games especially nintendo and there's this game called princess peach showtime and they they had a trailer for the game yesterday and like i am like so excited for that game i have my little peach <gasps> figure right here i ever since i was little i just really really loved video games that was my escape for me like if i was having a bad day or something 
I would just go to video games. So that's something that like, I'm really passionate about. If anyone is, let me know down below if you guys are too. But yeah, that I'm really excited for that game because like she's one of my favorite princesses and she's getting her own game. She hasn't had a game since the DS, which was a long time ago, if you know, you know. But yeah, really, she, they haven't. I feel like Princess Peach mm -hmm. is such a popular character. I didn't. Yeah, she hasn't had her own. Like... She's been in different games, but she hasn't had her own standalone game since the Nintendo DS with uh, Super Princess Peach. Oh, really? interesting. Yeah, I'm so learning. she's getting her new game. It's coming out March twenty second, and I'm really excited. I'm literally <laughs> counting. I'm more. I'm more anticipating that than my own birthday <laughs> because <laughs> like, I'm more excited for that. That's how. I just I really love video games and it's just a fun game. She is like in a in a theater and she has different costumes. It is so camp. I love it. She's there's like a there's a Western Peach. She's a mermaid. She's a superhero. She does kung fu. She's a ninja. I am so excited. If anyone else knows what I'm talking about, as like because I I I do see people like in the doll community, people that I follow that post like the videos of like that game, and I'm like, oh my god you're cool too <laughs> but I'm like, that's that's just that's very significant to me that's like I, wonder, a, one of the things I would I love to see really dolls like. of her in all these different outfits yeah because that that people, be so cool. people are already like these figures like people collect these figures they're called amiibo so people are already like mm -hmm. we need figures of these for every single costume she has in the game because it's just it's so cool like I just I love it all like she's so campy like she's a mermaid she's like singing she's like the fish are moving while she's singing or like she's like kung fu she's like fighting people and the western one she's on a horse and like the outfits are so camp she's okay, she's, a she's, she's a chef she's a chef like little cakes it's I love it so that is my significant thing of the week so even mine wasn't tragic or sad or anything well um <laughs> you're like no, i'm bruh. like you two miserable people over there i'm like no it's like i don't know like, uh, i don't i didn't have anything like i think that's the only really thing that was significant to me for this week <laughs> It's just I, I love was, that. I really yeah, and I love that, that too. Well, it's your just, birthday. Yeah. We, I didn't mean to bring yeah. it down. Uh, but no, like, are you doing <laughs> anything fun for your birthday? You, you guys are all good. You guys are good. It's are we the we party? Need we need to. We all the the world isn't perfect. We also need to talk about things that are hard to talk about as well. Yeah. Because yeah. There, there is people that are afraid to talk about things. So, like, anyone that's listening to this and like is kind of like in the same space or like shares those experiences, they're like, oh wow, like they're brave enough to talk about what they they need to talk about because especially like with chloe's topic a lot of people are scared mm -hmm. to come out and talk about that stuff so this is a safe space if you ever need <laughs> someone to connect with chloe is yeah. super nice and friendly so you know yeah no, <laughs> it, I, it's, I, it's nice to talk about because like i see a lot of people post like things and i i always am like i really hope that they have feel comfortable enough to reach out to somebody or yeah. feel open enough to like be able to reach out whether it's someone online or in person or just to communicate because it's a lot like the world can like you said it can be very heavy uh you know even though i hope you are having a nice birthday johnny with us and like you know i'm glad that we're your party for you uh you know but, but they're all like you know to bring to be serious like yeah there is a lot of hard difficult moments as we're sailing on by with occasional little happy moments and we just gotta yeah enjoy those little happy ones you know while they're around so yeah, no, I agree with you guys, definitely. I've had a couple people reach out to me and, you know, thank me for being so vocal. So just, like, getting those, like, messages or comments even, it's really, like, amazing, you know, that I get to, like, I don't have the biggest mm -hmm. platform or anything. I I will, you know, keep saying that. But, you know, the little few people that I do help out with, like, my commentary, that is, it makes it all worth it. It makes it all worth it, so... Don't be discouraged. Uh, we're here, you know. Uh, my my DMs are open. Hopefully, I can get to them. You know. <laughs> yeah, so just remember, you're never alone because it is it is really yeah. scary to think that you're alone, but you're never alone. There's always someone that you can relate with, someone that'll be there to help you. Just you know, mm -hmm. very true. Have to be strong. Yeah. No, I yeah for sure. But um, to touch on what Johnny was saying about Princess Peach, I obviously love Princess you know i'm not a huge gamer but i do play games here and there especially the mario kart queen. she's a roblox <laughs> mario queen. kart i really enjoy mario kart i've been mm -hmm. enjoying uno so that's been my game right now uno online um but Ooh, I I have that too. yeah oh, i love uno <laughs> but um 
like I wish they would make like Princess Peach dolls. That would be I so know. cute. I too, know, like all like her like different the... outfits, right? Marketing. Yeah, you know, like, like Universal. Right yeah. Universal now has the Nintendo World, so I'm like, yeah, on, they need to have Princess Peach dolls. Like Princess Peach dolls, and then like different outfits as fashion packs. I can see that. I can see that being a vibe. Cute. And then, like, introducing the other characters as dolls, like Daisy and, like, all the... Have they made dolls? I don't, I don't think so. They've made figures that kind of look like dolls, like, they're articulated, but, they're, but they've never really made, like, dolls, like, dolls of the like, characters. I was saying, I want dolls. <laughs> yeah, because I was, even though I'm not a big gamer fan, I was lucky enough to go to the Nintendo World at Universal, and I remember going around, like, oh, I want to go walk around the gift shops. I was like, there's really nothing no dolls like I did see some like figure things but like a few but not like a lot of stuff and I'm like I feel like they're missing out on that market because I feel like a lot of people who do collect dolls uh also game and I feel like Princess Peach is right there with it I'm surprised that they don't mm -hmm. have even if it's not like it wouldn't be like super high quality I'm thinking like you know what I'm envisioning like uh Ladybug the Miraculous Ladybug dolls like by uh, maybe yes. a Princess Peach yes. version of that I could see that realistically mm -hmm happening you know what i mean i, would like I feel like it. a lot of people would be into it honestly i would be into it because oh, yeah, could you imagine mm -hmm. yeah a lot of people online have been wanting dolls especially since nintendo has such a huge catalog of like female characters so they have peach they have daisy they have rosalina they have pauline they have birdo they have like so many like icons that they could like turn into these dolls mm -hmm. and i feel like they would sell really well yeah I, I think so too there's definitely a market for that and mm -hmm. I think they would do well. Mm -hmm. Okay, playmates, call us up. We have designs and ideas. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't think there's ever been, and I would love to see it happen. Kind of like how also like the Disney store does their princesses, like yeah. by Dis the Disney store. And they're very like generic, but like people are like into them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though they're like a lower budget, not that much articulation. I could see them doing that. I could see them doing so much and like even doing like different cars like the little racing car that would mm -hmm. be so cute mm -hmm. oh, I would be yeah that. i would yeah. love that her Ooh, castle could it. be like the dollhouse i'm just saying <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. i would buy would that. Like that yeah because <laughs> they do they do have like princess peach's castle but it's just like for like little plastic figures but like if it was for a doll like the market is there it's very much there, especially with the Mario movie being such a success. Yeah. There's a yeah, huge market. That was a that. really big hit. Huh. I wonder why they haven't done it. Like, are they afraid to like brand with certain companies to make it licensing? What I don't know. I'm interested. I really feel like that is something yeah. that they're missing out on. I, I know it I is. They're, they're expanding. I think I really do think in the future we will get that because the uh Nintendo had put on a statement I did not too long ago that they want to expand uh outside of video games so they really want to do like their own like netflix thing where they have their own like intellectual properties as like shows and stuff so oh. I think as, as as they keep growing they're gonna hopefully they'll be dolls yeah so if someone from nintendo is watching this or hearing this somehow <laughs> make dolls make yeah. dolls and if there's a show yes. i can voice a, i can voice a toad <laughs> Make dolls. That's so cute that's so cute oh well i guess that the, today's probably been our longest episode look at it us has. just keeping up this conversation yeah, going let us know if you like um, longer episodes because we can't talk yes we oh can. For sure. so if anybody wants if, <laughs> if you prefer a longer formatted video please let us know in the comments below so a lot of comments today i feel like we reached a lot of different topics did a lot said a lot of different things uh and of course happy birthday to johnny of johnny! course and oh, thank you. Oh, uh, also definitely... let us let us know what your out of the box moment is for the week down below as well yes yeah we want to start um i mean something that we all three have mentioned that we should maybe try like if somebody has like a question in our comments to try to like recap it or answer that question in a following episode so if anybody has a question for us we'll try to maybe uh hit that up in our out of the box moment next week i'm excited i think this is good i think i like our format of trying different things <laughs> yes how do you know you don't like it unless you try it mm -hmm. yes we're trying new things new things we have segments we're gonna be a full-fledged talk show watch out okay <laughs> Yeah. it'll be a two-hour show before you know it <laughs> and here's the weather with chloe <laughs> <laughs> yes oh i love that i love that uh, and then there's I'll a do... cooking segment elvira's in the kitchen <laughs> i was gonna say who's doing sports 
and we don't need that we don't, we'll yeah, just we, cut that out mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't need the sports segment we're doing um instead of sports we're doing uh gaming news oh and Johnny yeah, there can, you go yeah, I, love that. Yeah. Well, I could i can read your horoscopes but i'll use pokemon cards <laughs> <laughs> honestly i'm here for that <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That just makes me think. Oh, I was watching that documentary, and for those of you like old school Spanish, like like mucho mucho gusto, like that documentary. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't think of his name now. All of a sudden, the guy who'd read uh, the horoscopes on Spanish TV in the eighties. I think I know who you're talking oh, about. Is, God, it, is, is, it, is it Walter Mercado? Yes, thank you. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> mm-hmm. We have, he comes out from his retirement in Puerto Rico. He comes out and he's like. Hola. Like, which one everybody? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why. As soon as you said I'm gonna read horoscopes, that's the vision I had. And I was like, please tell me you're wearing a cape when you're doing it. <laughs> wow. Well, that being said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. Make sure to follow us here every week out of the box. We're doing more episodes. Um, definitely check us out. We have, of course, on Spotify, Apple, uh, Amazon, and wherever you listen to podcasts, we are there. And we appreciate all of you. <laughs> Happy birthday, yes. Johnny, again. Happy Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.